Yes, indeed. We do have the identity of the first victim identified by the coroner, the name released. That would be 23-year-old Ashery Ryan and her baby boy. And some of the witness sound that you will hear is just horrific, just as horrific as the crash itself that was captured on security video. Take a look. This all happened about 1.30 yesterday afternoon at the intersection of La Brea and Slauson. A Mercedes Benz comes speeding through the intersection, hitting and crashing into cars and causing all of that chaos, including the death of six people. The driver of the Mercedes has not been named as yet, but it is known now that she's been arrested in the hospital. She's said to have non-life-threatening injuries. Monday, she will be charged with vehicular manslaughter. She is a 40-year-old nurse. And here is some of that witness sound that uh, we promised you, unfortunately. Here's Lejeune Madu. And this did not have to happen. Six lives are gone. And the most heartbreaking is that poor baby, ripped out of its mom, didn't even have a chance. The 13-month-old baby didn't have a chance. I can't even imagine how those families feel right now. I know how I feel just witnessing this stuff, but how did they feel? Oh, my gosh. Lejeune works in a location not very far, heard the crash, and that what is what brought her out. She wanted to help, but as multiple people have said, the crash was so fiery and so close to gas pumps that people were just afraid, afraid to get any closer than they could. But some of the scenes, she said, it just will stick with her for a long, long time, kept her up last night. Let me just also point out that right now, even almost 24 hours later, they're still trying to restore the traffic lights here. Traffic is still affected. So if you can not avoid this area, you should. Meantime, there is a growing memorial on both sides of Slauson. As you see, some candles are burning. They've been placed on the sidewalk and across the street. People have laid flowers as well. So at this point, we do not have any other identity other than that 23-year-old victim that we told you about. But five other people, or rather four other people, have yet to be identified by the coroner. And there were also eight injured, but we're told that most of those people have been released from the hospital.